Oh, hey everyone, the Stevio here, just enjoying my coffee. So today was a bad day. So first off, I broke the gator last night, so we gotta go get that picked up, put it into the shop. Second off, I think we have a serious problem with our double crop beans. So let's get to it. We're walking out here, so we're gonna probably should shut our garage door. There we go. Jump in our truck here. So we need to go pick up our trailer to go get our gator. I already called the shop and they uh, said they can work it into their schedule. So now we just need to get it over there. It's it's beyond my capabilities. All right, we've got our trailer parked right over here. Little utility trailer. There we go. That's about good. Get this hitched up. All right, so we got the trailer now. Pull it out here. There we go. Cool. So now we need to go get our gator. So it, it was actually, it broke down earlier. That's kind of weird. I guess I have a uh, rain sensing windshield wipers here. A little odd. That's what you get when you buy a new Ford truck. So the odd part is it's a John Deere and it's broken down so that's a little odd to me so it's still under warranty so it's fairly new gator. So it broke down over here in our path when we're going to try to find uh going to check our cattle let's pull over here there we go now we just need to back this old girl up the smaller the trailer the always the harder it is to back up just got to make fine adjustments i think that's probably close enough might get lined up because we're gonna have to push this by hand and no one wants to have to turn a gator while they're pushing it all right let's get this old girl backed up there we go looks like it's good all right, now we got the trailer hooked up. Take it nice and slow here. Take it to our shop, or not our shop, the shop. We're gonna take it down there quickly. Uh, they said something about possibly uh, getting another, uh, being able to borrow another one of their gators, so we'll see about that. Pulling out of the gate over here. Getting on the road. Alright, let's get to the shop. Alright, pulling in the shop over here. An old girl started up. Got a big hill like our driveway here. Pulling this old girl over. Not sure where is the best place to park it. Might need to go in and ask here quickly. I 
All right, so they just want it pulled right into that bay. Easy enough for me. Just back her up here, right into the bay. They said they can pull it off for me. Alright, so we got the gator park. So he said something, so apparently I didn't even know I had this coverage, but apparently I get a rental UTV for a couple breakdowns every year. So go check this out. Said it's in here. So right over here. Oh, it's a bobcat. That's kind of cool. That's a pretty cool looking UTV. Don't know if I've ever had a bobcat, so let's jump in here. Looks just like the gator does, basically. Drives pretty good. Woo! Let's get over here put this on the trailer right away put the brake on there we go alright so we're just gonna pull away kinda like that uh, the bobcat look uh, favor to that uh, white look of it. I have to uh, talk about purchasing it, especially depending on how much is damaged out of the gator. just pulling back over here wow so I was not expecting that I don't know what happened so I'm guessing this is all compaction damage so we didn't end up uh, tilling this when we double cropped it so it may be where the trucks and the grain carts drove because I did not expect that to happen so we didn't end up tilling it at all, cultivating it because of the time frame we just didn't have time to uh, waste. We had to get the beans in. Now we are paying for it. Wow. So we got a ton of damage. don't know if this is going obviously we can't replant because it's so late in the year we're already in early autumn so we're kind of up you know what creek so it really looks like this could be the combine tracks because you can see it right here we did end up bailing this, so it couldn't be a residue issue. Uh, I don't know. It must have just been on the outskirts, the compaction, but... Yep. It says it's fallow. So we do have some growth but our stands are way down 
see how our other field is doing. Oh, yep. I can always see tracks out here. So we got all these tracks going in the middle of a field. This was our main drive path. And we had the grain cart, the, the trucks, top kit trucks going here, and the combines when it's going back and forth unloading. So the good thing is we got a pretty good rain coming down right now. So what is actually growing right now might actually yield something. So shoe birds. So it looks, yep, here's another big area. Here's that all the fields are that way. Let's go look at the other two quickly. tell this one has damage too so always yep there's the combine because only the combines about this wide there's not many other vehicles that are that wide let's go into our far field and go check that out quickly This is not turning out to the best day. First we had a breakdown, second we have our crops. Yields look like they will be down, so. Yep, this has, oh man, this has even more tracks it seems like it has. Well, got to learn from your mistakes. Next year I'll know I'll uh, end up tilling it right before I plant. So, basically here in Wisconsin you have to have tillage practices. No till is... sometimes doesn't work out. Let's go see how our other crops are doing, and it looks like we need to get to spraying these crops. So we got single crop beans, so basically we didn't plant anything. We didn't plant oats in them prior to, so they're not double crop. We got corn. Looks like it's only one stage away from harvesting. This is actually pretty good. Looks like we are fully fertilized. We have no issues in this field. You ever get lost in a field of corn? I'll tell you what, you gotta stay on the outskirts, otherwise you can wear your skin right out walking through cornfields. So the stand looks pretty good. Looks like we might have a few skips, but otherwise, we've got a pretty good stand for our planter at least. It actually looks like a good field of corn to me. So that's at least something that I can be proud of. Too bad it's in the back field here. No one, none of my neighbors get to see it. All my crops out there by the highway look like, you know what? So 
we'll go down over here. So we'll take it nice and slow when we're going by this creek here. There's our cattle. They're still doing good. Looks like our soybeans are close. We could almost be harvesting these if it wasn't raining. That if is the important part. Well, these are doing really good. So look at all them pods. We got good pod turnout. So good height it looks like off the ground. So no follow bare spots in the middle of the field. There's another good field of beans. So Sometimes you, when you're planting double crops, just a plus up. A lot of farmers don't actually uh, count into their figures double crop yields. They just count the single crop and then anything they get for double crops is like a bonus. So the good thing is all of our single plant season fields are looking really good so that's definitely a plus so let's get back so we ended up selling our 6,000 sprayer uh, I was just having too many issues with it so I decided to get rid of it that's why we got a little extra money there so, only issue is, is I need a sprayer now, so we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do there. So we might have to go call the dealer quickly. And see if we can either lease or buy a sprayer. Let's get to it. This is my driveway there. Let's go call the dealer and see what we can do. Alright, so we just got off the phone with the dealer. So basically, he has nothing available at the this time so I did call in a favor from a buddy of mine from high school he owns a spraying business he said sure come grab one of his sprayers and use it quickly and I'll pay him back later so let's get to it so let's get to his house here jump into our squad truck back it up here so basically he's gonna allow me to use it for free but we're gonna have to do a favor for him probably in the winter so we'll see what it is so he just does spraying in the summer months and that's what he does we'll see what it is but of course he's a friend anyway so I'll help him out no matter what Let's get to his place. All right, so we're just pulling into his place here. See what he's got. We'll leave it parked over here by his semi. So he said I can have a pick of any of the two, so he's a big John Deere fan. Looks like we have a Hardy and a 4045. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna go with the R4045. This thing just looks mean. Yep. So let's get this thing started. So we gotta spray a little fungicide. We'll probably put a little bit of fertilizer down on the beans. Other than that, this old girl out over here. Man, that thing's wide. Look how wide that is. Better put our flashers on. Go down over here. So basically, he he does a lot of acres, and I don't even do near that much. There's no way I could even come close to affording this sprayer. So it's good having friends like him. That's all I have to say. So let's get this back to the farm. I'll see you there. Fill this up with our mixture. Get to spraying. Hold over here by the truck. We already pre mixed our mixture. Turn our blinkers off. There we go this thing loaded. Actually, I think I loaded it from the wrong side, so this is the side you're supposed to load it on. Oops. Alright. Looks like we got 2,600 gallons in it. Probably need about a fourth of that. Let's get to our first field. Start spraying. these bushes here Going to our field unfold looks like we're gonna have to take about two pass we'll be done brain with this thing that's for sure man uh, I think it's gonna take longer to road this thing than it does spraying there we go looks like we just have one strip up the middle and the uh, done. We'll shut this off here. Hold it up. We're not going far, but we got a lot of trees to deal with, so we don't want to uh, clip one of them. We'll try to drive on the outskirts of this field because we already have enough compaction issues going on over here. So we'll pull up over here. Unfold again. I used to stay up all night, trying to find my place. Chasing me on lights and looking for 
lost some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness. Give me a little faith, something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way that you came to me and you gave me reason. Uh -uh 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 -uh. I almost can't believe it. Every time we touch our feet. Headed that back down to my buddy's house. All right, folks, thank you all for watching. And I will see you later. Hot on a mopes. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.